My background is a little different. It's for Galvin, he got a whole lot of talent. Say he grew up in the islands, know how to roll with his song. Genius for Dylan, he doesn't stop till I feel it. That's why I call him policeman, he come around and I run. It's for Eric, he love when I share it. Let's talk about Frankie, I love when he's banging, you know what I'm on. Cheers for Gerald, I'm at Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to another episode of Keeping Up With Coco. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Turn on your post notifications and follow me on Instagram at Birkin Coco. You know how to spell Birkin. And you know how to spell Coco. As you can see, my background is a little different. I wonder why. Just kidding. Um, I moved. <laughs> follow me on TikTok. Because if you follow me on TikTok, you would know that I moved. Um, also follow me on Instagram, obviously, because you would know that I moved and uh, yeah as you can see we are in our new place today is Monday May 22nd it is 5 50 p.m. I had a video for you guys that I was actually working on today uh, which was kind of like the whole moving process and when I watched the video it was just too hectic it was all over the place um i really didn't do anything in the video so i kind of just scrapped it out and decided i'm just gonna start another one um so i have been in my new place now going on two weeks I moved in exactly may 9th i believe i was moving out may 8th so yeah so i've been here two weeks um it's been fun i love it um i am not doing a full apartment tour you guys are just gonna have to see it as you know i go it is a three bedroom three bath penthouse in the city okay your girl has been promoted <laughs> something's going on with you know <clears throat> your girl has been promoted um yeah life is just beautiful my patreon got suspended even though i had been posting all of that stuff uh for over two years i mean i never knew there was a problem with like the stuff that i was posting and what i was talking about obviously they didn't care until some deranged human being who is obsessed with me decided to go in a report um my content and so it is under review so it's been two weeks now because it happened may 8th when i got the letter saying that they were you know suspending my account and they were reviewing it it's been two weeks now still waiting to hear back from them um but yeah so that is what's going on with my patreon i got suspended because i live rent free in some people's minds like they don't like me for whatever reason okay not to say i'm perfect or whatever but i literally have never gone out of my way to like offend anyone like i've never done anything physically harmful to anybody i i don't know some people are just weird um so some girl i guess went and reported my content on patreon and so it is being reviewed so that is why I can't talk to you guys on Patreon. Um, and if you try to subscribe to my Patreon, it is a no longer available for a subscription. So that has been going on. Um, obviously, this was happening while I was moving because it literally was the day that I was moving in um, that happened. I, I, I suppose the girl saw the penthouse and got angry I, I don't know how I don't know. okay I'm not gonna try to figure out a crazy person and an obsessive person I'm just gonna let that person be whoever they are um, you know it's like it, it's one thing to not like somebody but then it's another thing to like try to uh, you know kind of like hurt the person in so many different ways that you possibly can even though like my patreon has not affected me um you know with it being gone i'm not affected i'm still living here um my funds are secured like i'm fine but it's just 
the amount of like trials and tribulations people will go to try to you know make someone's life miserable as theirs is beyond me but that is all the negative news i have for you guys we are in a new place like oh my goodness and it is floor to ceiling windows all around so the lighting is perfection in here okay like perfection um so yeah so that's what has been going on i have decided that i am getting a new couch um i brought my couch over from my old place but i am gonna get a new couch just because it does look small in this uh you know penthouse <laughs> we're gonna call me penthouse coco from now on um it does look small in here so i am going to replace that couch um i left my queen bed um donated it um and i got a king and i ordered a new bed uh from cb2 and so that won't be here till end of june so my king mattress is on the floor at the moment but that is fine um what else i'm getting a new tv the tv that was in my living room is going to be in my bedroom I'm going to put the one that was in my bedroom in my office um yeah i'm trying to think what else am i getting new oh i brought over my ikea stuff i didn't think i was going to bring them over but i decided to do it just because i tried to put my clothes in these to see if it was gonna work so this is like the closets this is what the closet looks like in every um, room and I put like my clothes in here then I took over you know the one in the master bedroom and my shoes were in there and I was just like you know what this is just hectic for me uh, to try to like find something to wear like you know it, it just wasn't working for me I love the idea of like organization color coordination um and being able to like see my clothes and like easily access my clothes because trying to like get dressed while most of my dresses and stuff were in here and in the other room and having to go back and forth to get shoes from the other room was just not it for me so i decided like you know what i have my place my old place till june 1st so originally i didn't take all of this i didn't have the movers bring this stuff over i actually had them bring like just this three here and i was like okay no i had to call them back and say hey listen i actually do need um the rest of it and so i did bring it over this room is much bigger it is much bigger than the uh last room that i had my you know closet in and i don't need a shoe rack because then i can just use this for my shoes so um, and then I can just close this so no one can, you know, see. So this is what this room looks like. This is my closet room. Um, I kind of, you know, changed a few things, not a lot. Um, obviously my new bags that I got are in here. So this is no longer like the color coordination that it was like with the red. I still tried, but this is as much as I could get it, you know, to try to get my new bags in there. Um, and then I have a hair bathroom. And in here is where I do my hair. Um, and at the moment, it's, it's, it's a little okay because I went out yesterday. But in here, I just have like my hair products see that so like shampoos everything is in this bathroom so that is awesome i have a hair bathroom and i can wash my hair in there um you know and come out and so this is what this room looks like and then this is the guest bathroom but i am practically using this as storage for all of my extra um products um yeah i just put them in here and 
all like medicine cabinets. So that is the, uh, you know, visitors bathroom, guest bathroom, whatever you want to call it, but I'm calling it my storage bathroom. Um, so yeah, then we have an office here, but there's literally nothing in here, but Chanel's things. We have a washer and a dryer. You know, I said I wasn't giving you guys like an apartment tour, but I'm giving you guys like an apartment tour. Um, in here, we are now in the master bedroom. This is my robe closet. And then I just have all of my Hermes boxes in here and like travel stuff up there. And yeah, and I'm gonna be also storing like sheets and stuff. And then we walk into the master bathroom and we have a beautiful tub with a view, I mean, stunning. And then I just have literally all of my facial products in here. I don't know if you guys can see, but yeah, all of my facial products in here. So when I shower in the mornings and do my facials, I just do it in here before I go into my closet room. I also have a stain in shower. Um, yeah, so this is the um, master bathroom. I'm gonna try to show you guys without like, you know, the view being in the thingy, but this is the master bathroom. It's the tub with a view for me. <laughs> And then, like I said, stand up shower um, right there. So yeah. I am so happy with the new place, loving it. Um, obviously, I just moved in here two weeks ago, still decorating, still putting things where they belong, still waiting for stuff to come. Like I said, getting a new couch, so I'm still shopping for that. Um, getting a new bed from CB2. This is the bed that I've wanted for a long time. Um, so I can't wait for that to come. It's a platform bed. Um, I think Aaliyah's face has the same bed. I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, so keeping the coffee table that I had gotten at my old place that I got from CB2. So we're keeping that. Um, I wasn't too fond of this little thing. Like I would have preferred like an open concept island but honestly this is kind of cute like i don't mind this and we just have a liquor cabinet there the tv is gonna go on this wall it's gonna be like a 75 80 inch tv so things are coming together really nicely um i'm super happy with the place um i have valet freaking parking so literally i just pull to the front and i give them my keys and they take my car and park my car for me um they have carts for me to be able to bring my groceries and packages up um what else they have in house delivery for packages so i don't have to go downstairs to get my packages they literally just come and deliver it for you um what else what else um yeah super amazing oh they also have a dog um cleaning station downstairs for me to go and wash my dog um i'm literally right in the heart of the city so i just take ubers literally it's just like not like my dream dream apartment but it's my dream apartment like the windows like everything like it's amazing every time i've been in the apartment is like when it's sundown and like the cars you can see the, the cars and stuff so the really cool thing about my apartment is because i had viewed a, a different like high-rise apartments in the city um cool thing about it moving parts <laughs> um this is what bay was telling me it was like move in parts so like i can see cars move in i can see lights like the other apartments in the city that we viewed were like they had buildings in front of them like there were 
high rises and they had big nice windows but the views were not great like this view is amazing okay and i have water i'm right by the water i see boats i like it's it's everything it's everything um but yeah so that is uh what has been going on and that's why i have not been very consistent with posting but i'm going to be more consistent now that i have moved in i've unpacked like i did not want to do that while i was packing okay because i had to pack and then i literally had one day to park because keep in mind we came back from turks and caicos on saturday and i was moving to the new place on tuesday okay so movers were coming tuesday so i literally had to unpack either tuesday or wednesday but i literally had like two days in freaking boston and then i had to move right so i had one day pretty much to pack everything before the movers came the next morning they brought all the stuff to the new place and then like i'm one of those people i do not like being in chaos okay when things are everywhere things are in boxes and i have to dig through boxes to find stuff i just can't function that way so i unpacked pretty much the next day like unpacked majority of everything um you know and i just didn't feel like picking up the camera around that time because it was just too much going on um but yeah but that is what has been happening i'm super happy Ugh. So I literally just ordered some water. Don't want to break my nails. I literally just got my nails done. Okay. Whew. Um. Yeah. So we are gonna put the water in the fridge. Oh, like, look at my fridge, okay? Look at my freaking fridge. Look how big it is. Oh, I'm cheap. <laughs> I just got something delivered, so she not go crazy. Oh, you guys want to see what's also really cool? I have a wine a fridge, a bunch of stuff to show you guys. West Elm, I got a couple of stuff. I got a new soap thingy for my kitchen just because the ones that I had I just was not fond of and this is so cute I got this from West Elm and I think this like is so cute and goes with the aesthetics perfectly oh I got a new vanity mirror for my you know makeup desk so i'm gonna put that in there when i get the chance went to restoration hardware and got some more towels. I had already gotten some 
Um, I had it in the last vlog, but like I said, I scrapped that vlog, so whatever. But yeah, so I've decided that we're doing white towels in the new place. So I got some uh, bathroom mats, some extra ones. I got like three, just so you know, because they're white. They're gonna get dirty. You wanna wash them and you don't wanna like have to keep going and buying new ones. So I just got a bunch of extra ones. And I just got a couple more white towels. This is from Restoration Hardware. This is gonna go in my row closet slash storage for like bed-ins and stuff like that. Um, also got some white sheets for the mattress, king size, like I said. Um, so yeah, we're doing white sheets as well. Got some more stuff from West Elm. Let's see, what did I get, what did I get? So I got this cute little storage thing. I'm gonna put um, Q-tips in there for the bathroom. Um, just because like the ones I got on Amazon were kind of cheap. So yeah. we're getting all expensive things for the new place. So this is what it looks like. Super cute. Very heavy um, from West Elm. I've been saving these things to open for you guys on camera. So, yeah. Oh, matching soap, hand soap thingy. Just having to probably something that goes along with that. Got two of them. Cute. enough of these already in the house right but this is super cute yeah so i don't know i'm thinking i'll put those in the um master bathroom i originally thought i was getting them for the guest bathroom because you know i want guests to you know have some nice things in there but i might order the same for the guest bathroom online um Yeah, because these are really nice and very, like, good quality. Like, they're heavy. So, yeah. Went to, uh, what's this place called? La Crusette. And I got new olive oil and vinegar. says olive oil and I think this is vinegar so super cute they're white goes with the aesthetics okay um because remember at my old place I was like oh I need to get some new ones these are bad so I found these and I love them like that so these are gonna look really nice in the kitchen I will say though my workspace in the kitchen is a lot smaller than my last place but it's not a problem um, seeing that you know I barely cook anyways <laughs> right so I really don't need um, anything that's the new oven mitt black 
cute. Goes with everything, right? Um, but yeah. I ordered a broom online. Oh, I'm supposed to put it together. Yeah, I got this broom and it's black. It's cute. I needed a new broom, okay? And this one comes with like the dustpan thing where you don't have to like bend over, although I prefer the ones you bend over and I'm pretty sure I'm still gonna be bending over to make sure that I get all the, you know, dust off the floor. But this is just mainly for my um, closet room because of my hair. Um, I have cleaners come in. We started with once a week, but I think I'm gonna do twice a week. We'll see how dirty the place gets. So I'm like, I'm not cleaning, okay? Like, I, I know how to clean and I love cleaning but I'm not cleaning a three bedroom, three bath place. Okay, that's just too much. <laughs> like that is just way too, too much. So definitely have cleaners. I actually had her come uh, this past Thursday. Now, the only problem I'm having is that I can't have her do my closet room because of all the bags and expensive jewelry that I have in there. Um, she comes with like her husband and I believe her daughter. So it's like, I guess a family business or so. Um, so I'm putting a lock on that door. So I personally will be cleaning that bathroom and that room myself, but everything else, they got it, right? I think that's pretty much all uh, I have to show you guys that I have gotten so far for the new place. Actually, one more thing, I did get this big old pot because I am getting a plant and I've decided that you know what I am going to get an actual plant I think I can be a good plant mom so I've decided that I'm going to get a real plant and so I got this big pot from West Elm and it's so cute and it matches the aesthetics of the place perfectly like so cute right and like seeing that the space is so big most definitely can get a actual live plant look at my hammock that i got from mexico i actually have a place to put it <laughs> and i can sit here and you know drink my tea sip my glass of wine and you know just like watch cars and boats <laughs> and just relax but like it fits perfectly in this space and my bed is on the floor at the moment until my bed comes end of june guys what 
I did with that art that was above my couch in the old place. I put it in the hallway. So when people walk in, this is what they see. And then into my living room. And I don't know, I thought it looked great there. I like it there. <laughs> It's like a basic art piece, but like, I think it was not cheap, okay? I think I paid like $100 for this. And it's like really heavy, like really heavy. So they did this, they put it up for me. Looks good. You did a good job. As I was, uh, Cleaning up and putting things away. I got another package. I ordered some tissue and paper towels. I did not think I ordered this much, but And then I got, how many of these? Four of these, there's two in each plastic thing. It's the Bounty, the Quicker Picker Upper paper towels. So they just had it in this big box. <laughs> Jeez. all the trash in the um, office so when Bay comes he can take them out because I'm not doing that <laughs> he's not gonna be here till Wednesday so I have time to just you know put things away clean up, get some free time to myself. I'm thinking maybe I'll go out to dinner today. I don't know yet, um, but I need to store these. And I think I'm gonna do it in the laundry because there's this shelf in here that I can uh, use to store things, so. I just need something to step on because I'm not that tall.
definitely need one of these in the kitchen. So I'm going to open one pack. there and put one in the kitchen thank god for the spare guest bathroom because i'm putting all of these under the sink in there I should not be running out of toilet paper in months. <laughs> yeah, I think I have done pretty much all it is that I wanted to do today. Um, yeah, I opened up all the boxes, cleaned up. It's nice and clean in here. Um, yeah, I don't know. I've been watching um, Queen Charlotte, I believe is the name. Don't mind my TV is on the floor right now. Um, I am getting it mounted in two days. I believe the mount comes in two days. I got one of those movable mounts. Um, yeah, so when I'm sitting here, I can move the TV to face me. If I'm in the kitchen, I can move the TV to face me in the kitchen. Um, it should be here in a couple of days. But I've been watching Queen of... I, I keep saying Queen of Charlotte, but it's Queen Charlotte. I've been watching that show and oh my God, I love it. And every time I go on TikTok, <laughs> they're always using like the sounds from the show and it's hilarious. Um, oh, and I also watched... Um, young famous and african love that <laughs> i literally binge watched it in one sitting um yeah love that um i don't know if i have a favorite this season um there wasn't really too much drama um yeah but i enjoyed it um. Suddenly, I'm eating my Jamaican food and watching at Queen Charlotte. You do not understand because this is who you were born to be. I cannot do whatever I like. The Queen is not allowed to go to the... Morning. About to go to the gym. Good thing is the gym is in the building so I don't have to go to Equinox today because I don't feel like it so I'm just gonna go work out
much later um, from when I was at the gym. I came home, I showered, and honestly, I was so tired. I have not gone to the gym since before I went to Turks and Caicos and then the move. So I'm just kind of getting back in the groove of, you know, going back to the gym. And now I have a gym downstairs. Don't have to go to Equinox. I mean, I'm gonna keep my membership so I can go and do like box in there and they just have a lot more machines. Um, yeah, so after the gym, like I said, came home, showered, relaxed with Chanel, was watching a uh, sell in sunset. Um, yeah, and now I got dressed because I'm like, you know what? It's nice outside and I'm about to go do a hot girl walk. And yes, I am wearing this suit dress that I got from Zara like months ago. Um, it's super nice outside. It's not 80 degrees, but it's like 60 something degrees. The sun's out. So it's like the perfect weather for long sleeve, but like short skirt. So I'm going to put my um hermes sandals on and put chanel on leash and we're going for a little hot girl walk but not really because i'm dressed because i'm going out um but yeah i'm taking her to the off-leash dog park for like a few minutes um it's literally like a three minute walk for me uh so it'd be nice to have her like mingle with other dogs while i just kind of hang around um and i'm gonna come back get dressed and we are going out and about um grab some drinks maybe an appetizer i did use a clip to clip this because it was showing a little too much so it looks much better now with the clip i just have to keep adjusting and make sure like my clip isn't showing um but yeah so that's what we're doing my cousin is coming tomorrow and i'm getting my hair done she does a really good job with wigs so yeah i'm gonna have my little cousin do my hair tomorrow i got a wig from kendra's boutique it literally just came today i ordered it two days ago i did um two day shipping came perfect so tomorrow i'm getting my hair done i might get my lashes done the day after or maybe some point this week um but yeah that is the plan yeah, so this wig is hanging by thread okay but hopefully it doesn't look too bad i tried to like make it decent enough for you know my outing because i the reason i was wearing a hat yesterday was because my hair looked horrendous i didn't do anything to it so i just threw a hat on so that i can film and all of that stuff um and then i was like okay you know what let me do a little something with the hair because I can't wear a hat with this outfit. I was gonna wear like my Hermes bucket hat that has like the blue on the sides, but I'm like, that just doesn't go well with this fit. So, so it's the next day. It is 11:41. Um, I took a nice walk today around my neighborhood. Took Chanel to the Off Leash Dog Park again. We just got back. Fed her. I'm just gonna do some errands. I might go to Stop and Shop. I need to get some stuff because Mains wants to cook tonight. <laughs> I'm funny. Um, but yeah, Bobay wants to um, do a little cooking on the grill tonight. So I'm going to go get some corn on the cob. We have asparagus. There's steak in the house. So I just really need to grab a couple of things. Um, I might stop for some lunch. Yeah, so we're just hanging out today. I need to figure out where I put my ring because I don't have any on. Hi, you guys. So we are back home and I got a couple of packages, but I will show you guys what I got from the store for dinner today. Got some steak. This is boneless beef ribeyes. Got some asparagus and uh, some potatoes. Um, we're gonna be grilling out. We have a terrace with like grills and stuff. So we're gonna be using that. Well, I'm not, okay. I don't know how to grill. Uh, that's Bay's job, but I'm gonna season it because <laughs> One thing about me, I have seasoned the food, okay? Because I can't, I, I, I just can't sit and allow him to feed me 
unseasoned food. And if you know Caucasians are lacking when it comes to the seasoning factor in life. So I'm doing that for him. Um, but my wig came in. I was supposed to go get my hair done today. But my cousin had a last appointment. So she's the one doing it. She does a really good job. Um, she does it on herself. She's not like a professional hairstylist, but she does hers herself and she does such a good job. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to give her some business and I'm going to have her do my hair for me. Okay. Because I can't be walking around with this hat every time. So yeah, but let me show you guys the wig. I need a freaking better knife to open packages. And then I can't really be obvious with the package because since they do like in unit delivery, they like write the apartment number all over the box so the person who's delivering it <laughs> doesn't, you know, make a mistake but then it leaves me at risk of like exposing my address. But this is the inside of the package. It's Kendra's Boutique Hair. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, this is so cute. So this is where I'm assuming the wig is in. I'm assuming it is so cutely packaged. It came with HD wig caps, two of them. I guess her uh, pamphlets and stuff. Some more stuff. And then a return label if you, I guess, want to return the wig. That is cute. Can never go wrong with some free stuff. <laughs> some floor. Let's open her up. Now, this wig cost $750. I'm not very into spending money on wigs. As you guys know, not my, not really my thing. But I was like, let me give this a try, okay? But seven hundred and fifty dollars for a wig is insane, and that is not even like the installation included. That's just the wig itself. Wow. Okay. Ooh. Very thick. I will say that. It's almost kind of heavy. I guess it has a lot of density. Um, hair wise, I, I don't know. I definitely feel like I want to bleach it black. <laughs> Jet black because, I don't know, I feel like when your wig is brown, you don't really get like the about it. But to be honest with you, it looks like a regular wig. I'm trying to figure out where the $750 came from. Because <laughs> this looks like a regular wig. I mean... Like the hair, there's no like extra like amazing thing about it. I mean, these curls are kind of nice on it. So this is a 22... Or 24, let's see, let me look at the, the thing. Um, 22, so it's a 13 by six body wave raw Brazilian HD lace wig, 22 inches. I don't know where the HD part is, but let's see. Um, is that given HD? Y'all let me know in the comments. Is that is that giving HD? 
<laughs> I don't know anything about wigs. I don't know why this wig was $750. But that's how much I spent on it. So we are going to get this installed tomorrow in the morning. So I'm excited about that. Hopefully after that, you hoes ain't going to be coming for my hair anymore, okay? I'm going to make my cousin my private hairstylist because she does a really good job. I can't wait to show you guys tomorrow. I should not be drinking soda. Also got some stuff from Amazon. see me in the mornings when I wipe my face I use these uh, towels right here um, these are good because you're not supposed to use like actual like body towels or even hand towels to wipe your face um, yeah because those hold bacteria so I use a uh, clean towels wipe every morning to wipe my face before I put any product on my face. So I just kind of got two of them because um, I use these every day, morning and night when I do like my facial routines. So it's good to always have some in stock. So I just got some extras. And then I got some soap. Some kitchen soap. To refill my little thingy that I got from um, West Elm. I showed you guys that already. I didn't go to the gym today. I'm probably not gonna be able to go tomorrow because I have to get my hair done, but we'll see. Oh, and they gave some of this too. Oh, that's nice of them. So I just got four of these to kind of stock up. So I won't be needing any sort of dish soap for a very long time because <laughs> um, I'm actually going to go ahead and fill this up because it's barely filled. Probably in the laundry for me. Um, but yeah, that's really all I wanted to show you guys. It looks like it's about to start raining. So they better start getting on that grill now because if not, he's going to get caught in the rain. I'm going to put this stuff away and then I'm going to season my meats and asparagus. And I will do that on camera so you guys can see how I season my food and the amount of season that I put, okay? Because I need it to be flavorful. <laughs>
so it's the next day and I am about to go get my hair done I was telling you guys that my little cousin well she's not little but she's younger than me um, <laughs> does a good job with wigs so I am on my way to have her do my hair um, I like to support like family in any way possible um, and I think she's trying to start a business I, I don't know she should in my opinion because she's really good at it she should do like um, you know school um, and actually open her own like hair salon I just knew that if I was trying to find someone to, left to stay on Nashua Street. do my hair I'm like from a hair salon like professional hair salon person um, I just know one they be booked up <laughs> they be booked up for months right two I just don't feel like uh, $500 to install a wig is like fair like I, I just don't I, I just can't comprehend it right so I'm like I'm just gonna go to my little cousin and have her do it made it to my hair appointment let's see what my hair looks like after this <laughs> yep all right guys so I'm about to go get my hair done and I will check back in later okay, so my hair is done this is what it looks like she did a great job I will show you guys a better point once I get home but I'm like driving right now but this is what it looks like I am back home and let's get into the hair I mean are we serious she did an amazing job with it, like I said, this is a 22 inch uh, 13 by 6 frontal from Kendra's Boutique. It's a wig. My cousin installed it for me. And she did a freaking fantastic job. Um, yeah, she really knows how to do hair, but she's not a professional hairstylist. If not, I would drop her information down in the description, but she's not interested in doing hair professionally. So I think I'm just going to make her into my personal, um, hairstylist to do my hair every like two, three weeks because what your girl has never looked this freaking good. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I stupid but no seriously I have never looked this freaking good with a wig on my head before okay now y'all know I've always said I don't spend my money on wigs it's just not my thing okay this wig was $750 on its own and then imagine if I had went to like one of those like top-notch professional hairstyles I probably would spend another $500 so doing that every two weeks for me personally, like obviously now I'm using Bay's, not mine, it's okay. My allowance is mine, but Bay's money goes into my hair now. And ah, I look so good. And I told her I didn't want any edges because I just don't think I can upkeep edges. Um, I don't know how to do the whole swoop thing swoop thing and i just think like the no edges um side part just looks a lot more natural ah! i look good okay period <laughs> um yeah but she also does makeup so i might just make her into my personal you know makeup artist, hairstylist, every time I need to like go somewhere, you know, I don't know. But this looks uh, really, really good. I also got some flowers. Let me take the card off. I also got some flowers from Winston Flowers. And it is so cute. Aww. 
Bay is so sweet. Hey, I just get unexpected flowers like so pretty. Oh, this is so pretty. I love it. Like I love the way they like present their flowers. Like if you get the roses, I'm sure you guys have seen me do it. If you get the roses. Um, and like you want to put them in your own vase. They put them in a nice cute box. They put the little things at the end so they stay nice and fresh. They tie a nice bow. And today it's like so pretty. Oh, let me see if I can read the, um, the card on it. If it says anything. It just says... <laughs> uh, that's so sweet of him. Oh, so nice. Yeah, perfect. So yeah, that is all I did today. I went to get my hair done. Um, the housekeepers were here earlier. The Celtics game is going on today, so it's gonna be a hectic day in the city. I don't know. We might walk somewhere and get dinner i'm not sure yet but yeah that's pretty much all i did today literally went got my hair done stopped by my sister's place to check on my nephew um then drove home and it took like 40 minutes to go get my hair done and 40 minutes to come back so it wasn't too bad but it's already it's already 6.06, .06, so yeah. Guys, I will come back and check up with you guys what we are doing as of right now. Just literally chilling in the house. Gonna put these in a vase. Um, yeah, so that's what we're doing. I put the flowers in a vase and added water. Super cute. On the island. Next, I need to go ahead and take the plastic off of my pompous grass. It's literally just been sitting in this corner and I need to take it out. So we're gonna do that. And then I don't know if I'm gonna keep them all in one vase. I think I'm gonna put them in different vases. They were all in different vases. So we're gonna do that. All the vases are actually in the kitchen here um, on the floor so yeah that's what we're gonna do found the scissors so uh, I guess I technically didn't have to use the scissors let me bring you guys Oh shit. Okay. Found the scissors, but technically I didn't need a scissors because it was just like the plastic wrap. And you can literally just peel it off. The movers did this. <laughs> they wrapped it up for me. Now, I know someone's gonna be like, why didn't you just throw them away and get new ones? Um, if you know how hard it is to find pumpkin grass and how long I had waited when I ordered um, a couple of these from, I believe it was West Elm, trust me, okay, you would bring your pumpkin grass too. So. I'm definitely gonna have to sweep the floor though. Even though I had sprayed these, you can still, um, you're definitely still gonna get some on the floor. I'm doing this. Let me, let me bring the bases. We have this base, and then this one still has all of the plastic wrap around it. And this is what this one looks like. So we have these two, 
And then we have this huge one that they were all kind of in. So I'm going to figure out how I want to do this. These like tiny, tiny little ones definitely go in here. Let me see. I try not to make too much of a mess. The cleaners came today. I mean, I have a broom, so I can definitely just go ahead and sweep myself. After I'm done doing this, but like this goes in here, that's kind of cute, right? Okay, then it's these big ones. Like, that's crazy. These can go in this big vase. Definitely gonna spray them again with some hairspray. Oh, that's cute right there. And then in this base, I can put. I believe this one was actually in my closet room in the old place, these ones specifically. But now I think I'm gonna leave them out here on the other side. I don't know yet, we'll see. But those are cute. like enough stuff in the bottom or if you have like short ones and you want to make them like up to height to the same height as everything else stuff a little bit of paper in there and voila it can then sit up a little bit more you know Let's cubes so now these are the ones I got from West Elm. These ones are definitely not real pumpkin grass. I don't know if you can see. I mean, I definitely like them. They're less messy, but like if you can see, like, I don't know. I think they're fake pumpkin grass, but they're really nice too. Like, I really like them. Um, I have to find the base for this, so one second. Use this. Let's see, hopefully that works. Ooh, cute. Okay, 
now it's where am I gonna put them? Okay. So I think I think that one is gonna stay there, and I think I'm gonna put this on the other side. I think that looks nice there. That looks really nice there. And I think this looks nice here too. I don't know. We'll see. We'll move things around. Don't know what I'm gonna do with this one though. This is nice. I might put this one in my closet. Yeah, I think I'll put this one in my closet. It's a lot of pumpkin grass. <laughs> But it's cute. It's giving. I like it. But yeah, I think these ones are gonna go into my closet room. Okay, so I put that one in my closet room. I have a bunch of like extra little ones here on the floor. And I think I'm just gonna go ahead and put that like in the bedroom. Yep, so this is like cute, just tiny. I'm gonna put this in the bedroom. But that is all for the pumpus grass. I have a lot more than I thought. <laughs> a lot more. I'm not sure if this looks silly. Like, is it silly to have this on the coffee table? You guys let me know down in the comments, but I think I'm gonna leave that one there for now. Um, and then if I change my mind, I'll change my mind, but I think I'm going to leave that there for now. Don't know what the rest of the day has in store for me. A friend of mine has invited me to this place called Hava to watch the game and I'm just like, mm, I don't know. It is Thursday though. It's Thirsty Thursday <laughs> and it's Memorial Weekend um starting tomorrow so hey you guys so it is been a few hours later it's like 10 something and i am about to go to bed so i'm going to show you guys what i do with my hair to keep my curls nice and popping because as you can see, they've kind of fell already um, from when she styled my hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some rods in. So first thing first, first things first, obviously you wanna brush the hair. So because this is a closure, I am going to put my band first. I'm actually going to kind of brush this to the side. I'm going to take my band and I'm going to put it on and you use your rods. Don't judge my rods i've had these for years okay but trust me they still do the trick so i just grab a little piece of hair take my rods twist it and just do that and boom like most of the time, I do not curl my hair, okay? Like once it's been curled by the stylist one time, I just do this. And so when I wake up in the morning, I don't have to curl my hair or worry about my curls not being good. So... We're gonna take this, 
Boom. Go like that. Boom. Boom. And if you're really paranoid, you can put a scarf over it or you can um, you can just go ahead and put your bonnet over. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put a scarf. <laughs> I have to make sure my hair stays slayed, okay? Woo! Child. Trying to go to sleep as a black woman and then keep your hair looking nice is a straw gull because at this point the ears are just going to be covered then bonnet voila <laughs> I'm pretty sure you guys do this already too, but I just thought I should share what I do at night. And tomorrow morning I will show you guys what the curls look like. I honestly should have taken off this, um, what do you call it? What bread is this? This aloe top before doing all this. So now I have to take this off over all of this, but we're going to do it. <laughs> now in the master bathroom and I am about to do my nighttime routine. I have been using this to wash my face. Um, if you deal with hormonal acne, adult acne, get that. So we're gonna wash our face. I use these in the mornings and I use them at night. These are the Dr. Dennis Gross Exfoliator. Exfoliating wipes and it's just over so I'm just showing you guys these things because this is what has improved my skin in the past what three four years tremendously okay it's not perfect but I'm working on it okay <laughs> so And at night, obviously, I use different products. So I will do some sort of retinol. So I have been using this Drunk Elephant um, retinol cream. And then I recently got um, this Bioscience um, retinol night cream. So I'll pick either I want to use this or I'll use this. Today I'm going to use this just because I haven't used it in a while. So in the mornings I use vitamin C and some sunscreen. At night I use retinol. I saw somewhere that they say you're not supposed to mix both. <laughs> I used to use retinol pretty much morning and night, but I saw somewhere that you're not supposed to do that, so I stopped. I also do this um, peptides and vitamin C energy eye concentrate. Um, it's from youth to the people. I don't know, I got it from so far, but just a little bit. Dab it on your finger, put it underneath your eye. And then 
Um, I actually have this St. Jane Overnight Moisturizer and it actually has, I believe, retinol in it. Yes. So this is the moisturizer I'll use at night. I actually have the Sunday Riley Vitamin C moisturizer I use in the mornings. And that is my nighttime routine before I go to bed. Not that anyone cared, but I felt like sharing. <laughs> so yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow morning. <clears throat> Good morning, you guys. So it is the next morning. I just got out of the shower. Obviously did my facial, my morning facial routine, as you can see. I look greasy. That's because of my vitamin C um, serum and my um, sunscreen. But I wanted to take out my hair and show you guys. Now I did have to wake up in the middle of the night and adjust the band because let me tell you something. It was killing me. Okay, I think I was losing blood flow in my brains. <laughs> So I had to get up and basically kind of just adjust the band because it was just, it was too much for me. But as you can see, like, you know, with the um, scarf, it keeps the hair from going all over the place. Because even when you have it in rods, if you just put your bonnet on, it might kind of make the hair get all like frizzy, tangled up, like you don't want that. So a scarf just to keep everything in place is always a good idea um film in a tiktok too make sure that you're following me on tiktok um link is down in the description we are almost at we are almost at thirty thousand followers on tiktok so make sure you follow me so i'm gonna take these rods out First, like, do you see that? <laughs> Who needs a curly iron? What? Like, these never get old for me, ever. I will say, I think the first person I don't know I think it was a hairdresser that told me about it um, like years and years ago to use rods um, but I know someone who uses them faithfully on YouTube is uh, Kayla I can't really say her last name but come on now come on it's literally perfect like let's let's be honest i got a lash appointment for today at 5 15 i literally called them like probably 10 minutes ago before i got in the shower and they were able to get me in for 5:15, and this time around i'm going to the professionals okay i'm going to the salon not 